Hey guys. Uh I <laughs> I'm sorry that this is this is kind of a weird video for me to do. I I uh <laughs> this is kind of one that I did not want to really talk about because, you know, it's it's a little more personal for me and I uh it's, it, I, um, I don't know how to talk about it over the internet like this on my YouTube channel when most of my viewers probably don't know me that well. Um, so, um, this is going to be kind of weird to talk about with you guys, um, so I might, just like that beginning part, I might be nervously laughing a lot because this is just, oh gosh, I forgot to t put my phone on silent, uh, because this is just a weird topic for me to bring up, especially since I, this is, this is kind of about something that's never really happened to me before, and I, you know, I, it's, again, it's per it's very personal, but it, I, I mean, yeah, it's personal information for the most part, but it also might end up record, affecting my, uh, recording and uploading schedule for, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my post uh, my community post about not being able to upload a Ocarina of Time episode today, uh, or at least, you know, January 29th, the day I'm recording this. Um, but if you saw that post and read the comment I left, uh, I told you guys that I would be making an update video about, um, about some stuff that will... Uh, that just recently happened that's more than likely going to affect my upload schedule and I I don't want to I, I so it needs to be brought up as soon as possible because I I don't want to just disappear like that again I disappeared here for a while back in like October November uh, of 2023 because I was struggling with depression from moving to a new state and having to, you know, find a new part-time job. And, you know, I, you know, I don't really have a lot of friends here, but, um, I've been doing a lot better recently. I, my part-time job, I've been, I've talked it out with people, my boss, and, you know, it, they, they're very understanding about my position right now. Uh, I, I don't, I've said it, I've mentioned it at times. Uh, I've mentioned it before in videos and in replies to comments, but yeah, I, you know, I'm on the autism spectrum and, a lot of other sh stuff i almost swore <laughs> i i will be i will be honest i swear a lot more off uh, on i'm i'm a lot less family friendly in person <laughs> uh i try to keep this channel fa family friendly you know because i i i'd assume there are younger <laughs> people watching my videos um since, you know, I, I also have younger family members that I've talked to about my channel and they watch my videos sometimes. So I try to keep myself, you know, family friendly. Don't, don't swear and stuff, but, uh, this video might be a little more vulgar because, uh, again, this is something that I've been going through uh, that, I mean, it only recently came up, but it, 
it's it's been really hard um so if i if i let loose any swear words or anything please don't please understand that i try i try to not be like that uh on this channel it's it's just this one time is gonna be hard for me so um so you know i you know i've talked to co-workers and stuff about my autism adhd asperger syndrome uh anxiety depression i i have a lot i have a lot of stuff that i have a lot of stuff that really holds me back you know and that's that's not what today's video is about how for the most part but it it does have to do it does sort of have to do with what what i've been going through right recently so um you know i'm so just keep that in mind i you know you know it's i i'm sure I'll, some of you in the comments have noticed and you know i have some viewers that are close friends to me um that i know personally that know about my conditions but um yeah I, i've talked to my boss and my coworkers about all my conditions and the depression you know from having moved and not really having friends and you know i i will admit that i'm trying really hard to find a way to find more friends here in the state i currently live in uh I, I, I'm planning on trying to start college this fall, uh, 2024. So like sep August or September, I will probably try to start college and make some friends here. And, you know, that might also affect my uploads and recording stuff in the future as well. Uh, but you know again that's not what this is about i if anything i'm i'm really i am avoiding the main topic of today because i i don't want to talk about it it's very personal but again i also realize that it's going to really make me struggle with future recording and stuff so i'm I need to talk about it as much as I don't want to. Um, so, um, anyway, I before before this last week, I you know I was starting to do a lot better. I was getting better sleep. I talked to my boss about my conditions and you know and you know about some work conditions. You know, I I was struggling to keep up. After being there for half a year, uh, I was struggling to keep up and, and, you know, I finally talked to him about it, uh, after some complications and we worked things out. He helped me through some of the stuff I was struggling with at work and I'm doing a lot better, uh, both at, in terms of work and mood and all that. Uh, but I recently uh had something come up that I that really hurt me uh and I need to be honest with you guys because I don't I I'm I don't want to disappear again. I don't I love recording for you guys. I love making videos for you guys, but um I you know, this is, I'm going through a lot right now, so, I, it's gonna, it's gonna be really hard, hard for the next couple months, probably. Um, so, moving on to the main topic, I, I haven't even started talking and I'm already crying. <laughs> um, I... For a little context, I, back in high school, uh, 
10th grade, I had this girl that I liked. Well, you know, I mean, I didn't like her at the time, but, you know, uh, I had known her for a few years now. Uh, uh, I, it was, I can't even remember what grade it was. I think I was in like eighth and she was in seventh or something like that. Um, she was always a grade below me, but, uh, there was this girl that I met that apparently liked me and, you know, had a crush on me. I found that out through her mom telling my mom telling me, uh, however, at the time I didn't like her back because I had another girl that I liked up until ninth grade and up until my freshman year of high school and then you know she she told me she didn't like anybody in that way and you know we were able to end and that and that relationship peacefully i had been you know with her since seventh grade i i mean we would go out every once in a while and you know she she was the type of girl that had a hard time saying no to people, you know, offering to go do things with her, you know, I, I have my tissues here just in case, um, that relationship ended peacefully, you know, because, you know, we were able to work out our differences and, you know, and, you know, we were able to remain friends for a while after that. I haven't talked to her in a long time, but you know, we're still, I still, every once in a while, we'll message her on our birthday or something, you know, um, but, um, uh, this other girl that liked me, um, you know, starting 10th grade, my sophomore year, she entered her freshman year, and I transferred to a public charter school that was a little different from normal high schools. Uh, and it was really good for me. I, and she started going there. Uh, I, I mostly moved there. F I also, I mostly transferred to the public charter school for Jack Guru, my good friend, uh, that you've seen on this channel multiple times. And also, you know, um, and also, uh, um, is on the collab channel, Super Crossover Gamers, and, um, and then another friend that I, I don't, I don't know if he still goes by it, but Jazzberry Gaming, I don't, I don't know if he still goes by that anymore, but, uh, he was a friend of mine that, that was going into his freshman year at that school, and so, I transferred to that school uh for sophomore year because because I, you know, I wanted to hang out with them more often and turns out this other girl was going to that school as well. Um and you know um anyway, this girl had a crush on me, you know. I didn't have feelings for her then, uh, during my sophomore year because, you know, I had other girls that I liked and there was an age difference between us. Uh, she is technically almost three years younger than me. Uh, so there was a age gap. I graduated high school at 19. So, um, that's why there's a larger age gap, but, um, she she had a crush on me and i i didn't like her back because of the age gap i was worried about that um getting in the way of a, a relationship with her and so i focused on girls that were you know more my, closer to my age and in my grade um which you know never ended up working out i they all had other people they, they were with or that they liked or, you know, this other girl who didn't like anybody like that. Um, so, you know, anyway, end of sophomore year, I ended up having to move cities. I, I think I made a video, you know, saying, saying I was moving. Uh, and, you know, I, did, I made that video and, you know, I was moving cities. 
So I didn't I didn't see her for a while, and I only ever got to hang out with Jet Group and Jazzberry every once in a while. Jazzberry less often than Jet, um, which Jet Jet Group and Tano and I all started the collab channel after I moved back to that city, uh, and you know it was it was good. Um, anyway. Come graduation, uh, come high school graduation, I am able to make it to Jack Group's graduation after mine, and uh, I see this girl again that, you know, I hadn't been able to talk to for two years almost, um, so, so I, you know, talked, so, you know, we talked a little, and I ended up getting a phone number from her and inviting her to my graduation party a few weeks later. And, you know, she came to that, uh, and, you know, we had a really good time, you know, and, you know, I still wasn't really sure about my feelings for her. If anything, if anything, I started growing a lot more attached. I don't know. I at the time of the graduation party, I was a little nervous around her and wasn't really sure why, because, you know, again, there was this age gap that I was worried about. Um, and I didn't, and you know, um, you know, but sh I also knew she liked me. So it was weird. Anyway, I eventually got eventually after the graduation party uh she would text or call me a lot ev pretty much every day during the summer uh and you know we basically at any time we'd call uh, we'd talk for hours on end and um you know and and you know we'd text each other a lot um and then, you know, I invited her to join a Minecraft server with my friends and I. Um, it was, well, technically it was a Pixelmon server that uh, Kano and I were planning to make a series of that never ended up happening. Uh, but we, um, you know. So, anyway... She had to go out of state eventually to visit her dad. Her 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 parents were not together. They were divorced, so she would go out of state to visit her dad during summers. Uh and you know, I so and you know, that didn't really prevent us from talking to each other all the all the freaking time. <laughs> uh and you know, we would, again, we talked a lot, um, and I eventually realized that maybe I was starting to like her and have feelings towards her. I, as much as I didn't want to admit it, you know, she was only going to be 17 in August, and I was going on 20 in September. Uh, so I was not wanting to, you know, I, I don't know. I, I didn't really want to like her, but I couldn't deny the feelings I had anymore. Um, because, you know, she was kind to me and I, you know, I, she, she liked me and she had liked me since she was like 12 maybe, and I was 15, so it would have worked out back then, probably, uh, and I found out she had a crush on me when she was 13, and I was 16, so again, it probably could have worked out how, back then, but again, I was focused on someone else at the time that I didn't realize did not feel the same way towards me, because, you know, she was really nice, and you know, even even my friends didn't really realize it at the time, and you know, and they would they would tease me about like you know they'd tease me and be like and 
even my even my younger sister would thought that she was my girlfriend, but it was never made an official thing, so you know. Um this girl, I ended up taking the risk of one day I was calling her and I decided to take the risk to ask if she wanted to go out after she got back from her dad's. I was like, I know there's this age gap between us that, you know, you're you're a minor and I'm an adult, but you know, I also in in my head I was thinking, well, we'll we'll just go on a few dates maybe and maybe we'll see if things could work out and after she turns 18, maybe we can be in a relationship, you know? I didn't want to be in a relationship with her while she was still a minor. Uh, and, you know, I had talked to my grandma and my mom about it because, because I was like, again, I was like, I, I have feelings for her, but she's also a minor and I don't, I don't know if that would, if that's okay, you know, my grandma said, you know, since I, since my mom knew her mom and I knew her mom and they both, and you know, she liked me and we we all thought that it'd be okay you know and and even even at the time she thought it would be okay so she was like i'll talk to my mom about it cuz you know cuz you know she is a minor so she would have to ask her mom anyway so um turns out her mom was turns out she talks to her mom a few a few months later or something and her mom is not okay with us doing going out one on one because without like a chaperone or other friends because because you know she's still a minor and I am an adult and you know I I wasn't planning to lay my hands on her at all and you know and and, and you know she believed me and and you know uh you know she trusts me and and she even said on that same call, after I turn 18, I'll take you up on that offer, you know? So I was, you know, I was really hopeful for her to turn 18 and graduate high school and maybe we could be together, you know? Um, yeah, um, she starts her last year. So now she starts her last year of high school, you know? And, you know, I'm still talking to her. We're friends still. Um, and she's telling me how, you know, she's stressed out about high school. And, and, you know, there's stuff going on that she didn't fully understand with senior year. And because it's her last year of high school, it's she she understands that it's going to be a little rough. And, um, you know... So, you know, she was a little stressed and, but, you know, I told her like, I have your back. I, I am there if you need to talk to me or something. And, you know, she was grateful. Um, and eventually, you know, she turned 17 and I'm wishing her happy birthday and stuff. Um, I, then I am planning a birthday get together with a bunch of friends because, you know, my birthday is like right after hers. Um, and I was trying to see if she wanted to come to that birthday get together, you know? And, uh, I tried contacting her a few times calling, texting, and she wouldn't answer. And, you know, I figured heard I was contacting her at a bad time because, you know, high school, final year of high school, stressed out about other stuff. Um, eventually one day I call her and she, she texts me saying, please stop calling me. Um, and I was like, okay, are you okay? You know? And she tells me she just needs some space if that's okay. And I'm at the time I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, you know, I'd, and then eventually I text her being like, is this a high school thing or is this something I said or did? Because I, I didn't mean to do anything, you know, uh, doesn't respond to me. And 
you know, I I figured that it was just because she was stressed out with high school, you know. Um, I tried talking to her. I also would try to text her every once in a while, like, just to see how she was doing and see if she was doing okay. She she would never respond, and, you know, I was a little upset. Um, I eventually, at some point, you know, we get up to almost a year later, and, you know, I try contacting her when she graduates, and I'm like, hey... Like, I knew you could do it, you know, and she never responded, you know, and, and even on her, and, you know, I, since she graduated high school and was, I thought, I thought maybe she would be feeling a little better, you know, and she still didn't respond. So after that, I thought, oh, maybe it's because she's still 17 and, you know, I I text her happy birthday on her 18th birthday and still nothing. Um and so eventually eventually after that I decide, you know, maybe okay, you know what? I'm not going to talk to her again. I'm not going to try again. She's she's obviously not wanting to talk anymore and, you know, I, it was a little, it was a little hard because, you know, I didn't know why. I didn't know why she didn't want to talk to me. Um, so, you know, I, but I thought I moved on. I thought I had moved on at that point. And, you know, um, I tried sending her a friend request on Facebook at one point and messaging her there. It's still nothing. Jack group. Enter Jack group who I would talk every once in a while about her because especially since he is friends with her on Facebook, I, you know, and which is still, you know, I'm like, why him and not me? And, you know, they barely talk anyway. So, um, just last week, uh, I can't, I think it was Tuesday last week. I, received a screenshot from him uh it was like one o'clock in the morning for me so you know i so you know i woke up to this message he had tried talking to her about about it um himself because you know i was talking to him about it again and so he decided to take it upon himself to try to talk to her himself without me knowing and sends me this screenshot. Uh, he, uh, he's, he says, Hey, Hey, quick question. She replies. He's, he's sure. Do you remember Chaco? You know, I mean, my actual first name. Uh, and she says, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Uh, and he says, have you, have you guys been talking and, and, or something like that? And she says, I haven't for, for about a year now, which, you know, it's actually been almost a year and a half now, but, uh, details, small details. Uh, and he says, oh, oh, no. Uh, and he says, oh, oh, may I ask why? Uh, and she, all she says is just life. Anyway, what about him? Uh, you know, and this is, you know, she she seems really uninterested about talk. She seems really uninterested in talking about me. And all and he says, well, you know, well, he told me that he tried sending a friend request on Facebook and it didn't go through or something and that he really misses you and he does too and 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 she, all she said was, ah, so, you know, um, uh, I thought I'm, I, I really thought I had moved on from her. I thought I was over, over the fact that she would never contact me again, but seeing that screenshot that morning, it really set in that I, 
will probably never talk to her again and that I will never see her again. And it hurt a lot more than I thought. I fully expected the response she gave, but it still hurt a lot. And I was feeling a little heart heavy that throughout that day. And, you know, I wasn't completely sure why, because again, I fully expected that response. But, but the next day, I wake up a little groggy, you know, and you know, this is normal. I am, I was never a morning person, so I, I was a little groggy and I, I was thinking like, oh, I, after I get out of bed and, and up and moving, I will feel a lot better. That didn't happen. <laughs> I ended up, you know, I was going to do laundry that day, record that day. Um, I didn't record that day. And I, I was barely able to get myself to do laundry. I was barely able to get myself to eat that day. I ate two Hot Pockets and that was about it all day. And then I... I think I eventually ate like a sandwich or something at after at like two in the morning. <laughs> so, you know, I and you know, I the worst the worst thing about it is that I just felt like I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to interact with anyone. I didn't want to be around anyone, which is not normal for me. I Usually, I always want to be surrounded by people. Usually, I want to talk to people, especially when I'm going through stuff like this. I'm, I, you know, if I'm feeling de down and depressed, I try to talk to people because that's just something that helps me. But this time, I didn't want to talk to anyone, and it was a little concerning. Um... Because, again, I usually want to talk to people, and so I was a little concerned for my own health, mental health, because, I, again, I didn't want to talk to anyone. And eventually, I called my mom, and I also talked to Taino a little about, about it, and I wasn't really thinking about it, but apparently I was missing this girl a lot. Um... And I finally realized while talking to Taino that I am heartbroken. Just saying that gave me chills. <laughs> I, I really, I'm hurt in a new way that I've never felt hurt before. And, you know, I, <laughs> I, Again, I, I didn't, I didn't think I would feel this way seeing that screenshot, but, you know, I, I, <laughs> I fully expected the response she gave, but I still, you know, it really set in how I'm never going to talk to her again. I'm never going to see her again. And it hurts a lot. So I wanted to bring this up in this video. I know this is a kind of long update video, but because I needed to talk about this with you guys, because it it's going to affect it. It's going to affect my ability to record and upload regularly because I, <laughs> I, I'm hurt and I, while I love making videos for you guys and while it will be a very good distraction for me when I do make the videos, I, it's going to be hard for me to find the motivation to actually record.
and I, you know, I really hope I can finish Ocarina of Time soon, as you know, I only have the Shadow Temple and the next one left. There's only two more. Sp there's only two more medallions to get, and before we can take on Ganon. Uh, so, you know, um, I want to finish, I want to finish soon, you know, but these experiences are hard for, hard for me, uh, especially since this is my first time experiencing true heartbreak like this, and, you know, I... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I it's it's hard for me to be able to determine how long I'm going to feel like this. But I I I'm I'm apologizing in advance for if I end up disappearing again because I I I understand that this is going to be hard hard for me and you know and I if you if I don't talk about it now I'm just going to suddenly disappear again and you know I I don't want that again I already disappeared back in October and November and you know, it's, it's something I, and, you know, it was hard for me back then to disappear like that. I, I wanted to upload, I wanted to make videos for you guys, but because of my lack of motivation, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make time to record as often because I wanted to be in a good mood when I recorded, you know, I, I wanted to be able to be happy while I recorded, because if I wasn't fully happy or in a good mood when I recorded, that it made me feel like my video was not sufficient enough for upload. So, I, so, you know, I just decided to not record and eventually eventually I got better for a while you know and you know every once in a while I might miss miss a day or two of uploading because I am busy but this time I might end up disappearing again because I am going through another depressing moment in my life I never thought I would experience this because you know I had always been single um and never really had a girl like me in that way back and you know and it just hurts because she liked me and suddenly cut me out from her life and didn't like me anymore and I still don't know why so i i apologize for talking about this so suddenly for you guys but i i needed to bring it up cuz i i don't know how this is going to affect my future recordings so you know, um, I have the next two parts of Minecraft shenanigans with Jack Group going up these next couple Sundays, and I also recently recorded a, a some gameplay for another game, game that's gonna be a one-off thing with Taino Taino and another good friend of mine, Minoze, who I don't really talk about often, but uh he he's really close to me 
uh, and I he he streams a lot more on Twitch than than he does make YouTube videos. I I don't even remember when the last video he he made actually went up, but he he um you know he's he so but he he's actually the one who introduced me to Pokemon back when Soul Silver Heart Gold and Soul Silver were the newest games cuz he got Heart Gold for Christmas and then I ended up getting Soul Silver shortly after um and he actually is the one to introduce me to this this new game that I am that I recorded and am going to edit soon and we all Tano and I also recorded this for like over an hour, so that's probably gonna end up being like a two parter, two part video as well. Two or three part. Oh my gosh. Sorry, sorry, I'm yawning. I am not breathing enough because, because you know, I'm crying and hurting. Um, so I'm. I'm planning to edit the I'm planning to edit that video soon and I'm going to try to get those videos up. I I I'm pretty sure it's going to be a three-part thing, so I'm going to try getting those videos up uh slowly over time, probably weekly on Thursdays because, you know, I upload my typical schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so probably Probably Tuesdays or Thursdays, I'm going to try to upload those one-off type things. And I mean, Minecraft shenanigans technically isn't a one-off, but it's a side thing where I'm going to be kind of recording as I feel like it, you know? Um, but yeah, I... Yeah, I... After after uploading after the next couple home Minecraft videos go up and after this other this other one off thing goes up I I don't know what's next because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record more Ocarina in a time um anytime soon so <sighs> I. I'm hoping I can record tomorrow at some point. I might, I might not. Uh, I, you know, I have some plans going on tomorrow that might get in the way of getting, being able to record. And uh, so there might not be a video for Ocarina of Time on Wednesday either, but I also have Wednesday off work. Uh, because I have tomorrow off work and I have Wednesday off work. I I work in a few hours today, but I needed to make this video now. Um so hopefully I'll be able to record tomorrow or Wednesday for the Shadow Temple. And I'm really hoping that it'll work out, but um and hopefully I'll be able to get at least one episode up on Friday. Uh, uh, and maybe, and maybe if the Shadow Temple lasts long enough, I'll get to do another one on Monday. Okay, I'd have another Ocarina Time episode go out on Monday. Um, or, or, you know, if... If I do get a chance to record tomorrow, it'll be Wednesday and Friday that the vid that the episodes go up, and then, and then I work Thursday and Friday, and then I work Sunday, so I'll have Saturday off to possibly record some more, depending on what happens. But a I, you know, <sighs> anyway, anyway, I, I should get going. I still have a little bit left to do to prepare myself for work today.
and I need to calm down, so, um, thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video, if you did, um, I know this is a hard topic for me to talk about, and, you know, it's weird for me to talk about this online for people I barely know. But, you know, I felt I should talk about it cause, because I it's gonna it's gonna be rough these next couple months. I and you know, I I don't know. So thank you guys for sticking around if you did and I'm sorry if I disappear again, like, just suddenly. So, hopefully you can understand. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for whatever it is that goes up. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say here, so. I, I guess this is this is chalk controller signing out. I'm sorry. Goodbye.